Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to use case statement in Bash. While in some other programming languages, it is also known as switch statement. While basically, case or switch statement can be used and as an alternative to if statement, if else statement, else if statement as well. So I'll show you an example that how we can use case statement into our Bash. I'll take a scenario. Let's say we want to create a group of people with respect to their age. If the age of a person is 30 years, he or she will belong to group A. If he or she is 25, he or she will belong to group B. And if they are 20 years of age, they will belong to group C. Any other people having any other age will belong to group D. And I will handle that scenario with the help of my case statement. So first of all, I'll ask my user to enter their age. So I will write here echo enter your age and I will store that age into a variable called as n. So now we are good to go. Now I'll start my case statement. I will write here case dollar sign my variable name in. Now I will define my scenarios. I will write here 30. It means if the age is 30 or the user enters the value as 30, I'll print a message onto my terminal and the message will be you belong to group A. After that, I'll write here semicolon two times. Now I'll have my second scenario and this time I will have 25 as an age. For that purpose, I will print a message you belong to group B. And again, I'll have my two semicolons. For my third scenario, I'll have 20 as an age, and then I'll have my message as, you belong to group D. Well, if you know, or I'm sure that you might have an idea that with if else statement or else if statement, we have else at the end that else take all the scenarios into consideration so for that purpose we have to do the same with our case statement because let's say someone comes in and someone enters the age as 45 32 28 or any other value rather than these three so for that purpose we must have a scenario that can handle that particular number so for that we write here static and that static will handle every other value so I'll write here echo space inverted commas, you belong to group D. Here I'll change it to C and now we are good to go. At the end, we have to close our case statement. So if you know that with if statement, we write FI. So for the case statement, we'll write the case, but in reverse order. So I will write here ESAC and we are good to go. Now I'll save my file, I'll head to my terminal and in my terminal I will execute this program. It is on to my desktop so first of all I'll head to my desktop, hit enter and now I'll call this file or I will run this file. The command for that is bash space script.sh hit enter. So here it is asking me to enter your age. I will write here 30, here it is giving me the output as you belong to group A. Let's run this program once again. Now I will write here 20 and it is giving me the output as you belong to group C. Now let's run this program one more time and let's add some other value rather than 30, 25 and 20. I'll enter 40. It should give me you belong to group D output. So if I hit enter now, here it is giving me the output as you belong to group D. So this is how you can have different scenarios with the help of your case statement handle. You can have as many as for your liking. You just have to keep adding them and you just have to keep using them. And the good thing is you can use your for loop, while loop, else if statement along with your case statements in bash as well. And that shows that we have a lot of power with the help of our bash. And that was all about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.